the first bionic eye in the world that will cure blindness. With over 40 million blind individuals and another 124 million suffering from poor vision around the world, it's no surprise that researchers are focusing their efforts on finding innovative ways to help restore sight. The construction of the world's first bionic eye is one such project, also known as the bionic implanted eye. What is a bionic eye? Will a visually impaired person can see the world again? How much does the implant cost? So, in today's video, we'll discuss how the first bionic eye in the world will cure blindness. Interested in learning more? So, keep an eye on the footage. Hello everyone! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and click the notification bell to stay up to speed on world politics, finance, the international market, space, and anything else in the world of technology. It's incredible to witness how quickly technology has advanced. The world appears to be a full-on technology habitat, with AI judges providing legal justice, Neuralink implanted into people's minds, and now the appraisal of the world's first artificial eyes. It isn't the first time that artificial eyes have been developed. Argus 2 retinal prosthesis system is something we'd heard about before, a similar device that restores a degree of vision. When it comes to the world's first bionic eye, the device will be implanted directly into the user's eye. The technology was created to help people with severe vision problems and blindness recover a piece of their eyesight. Individuals with retina-related deteriorating vision can now benefit from it. Photoreceptor degradation can be caused by genetic illnesses, diabetes, and a variety of other health issues. This is referred to as retinal degeneration, and it can lead the majority of individuals to lose their vision over time. There is presently no cure for retinal degeneration. However, the Phoenix 99 bionic eye technology may be able to help people overcome the problem. The inquiry has a simple answer. A bionic eye is a remedy for your blindness. That's right, you heard that correctly. This mind-bending phenomenon of restoring damaged vision was developed by a team of researchers from Mohash University in Australia. The bionic eye can be used to do this. It functions similarly to the retina. The instrument is currently undergoing testing, but it will soon be suitable for human use. Bionic eyes have undergone extensive testing and trials. Sheepwear were used to make the older trails. When it was securely implanted in the brains of lambs, researchers noticed positive benefits with no side effects. They're now moving on to the next level, which will be the first human clinical study, which will take place in Melbourne. Do you remember learning about how the human eye works in school? To refresh your memory on how an eye works, a regular human eye captures light pulses on the retina's photoreceptors. In any event, it's a problem if your photoreceptor cells are destroyed or your eye lens isn't compatible with the passing light signals to your brain cells. Physicians advise contact lenses or glasses to assist you to keep a healthy balance between the focal length of your eye and the transmission of information to your brain cells. However, these technologies are ineffective for persons who have serious visual problems, such as the retinal degeneration we outlined before. The bionic eye was developed to help persons with retinal degeneration restore their eyesight. The Phoenix 99 bionic eye researchers broke detailed how the technology works in this study. The following is how it works. The images acquired by a video camera are converted into electrical impulses by bionic eye implants. The impulses are subsequently sent through the optic nerve by the wireless retina implant. The information from the visual cortex is processed by the brain to create vision. The user is given basic visual information such as shapes, moving light, patterns, and the relative location of objects, rather than the ideal image. This is because the current bionic eyes have roughly 60 electrodes, and they will need about 1 million electrodes to restore normal vision. Bionic eye implants, like many other advanced treatments, can be expensive. They were not cheap. One of the three bionic eyes, the Argus II retinal prosthesis systems, is expected to cost roughly $150,000. It's possible that your medical insurance would cover the cost of your bionic eye implant. While it is true that AI-based technologies such as the Argus 2 system and the prosthetic eye can help individuals sense light, shapes, and motion, however, it is unable to restore sight to the extent that one might like. This is because the current implant only has 60 electrodes. To be able to see, you'd need about a million dollars. Certain Argus 2 users, on the other hand, are capable of taking big books to the libraries and walking across the streets on their own. Future models would also have additional electrodes, according to the business. Hopefully, similar test findings will be forthcoming with bionic eyes. The bionic eyes' potential applications go far beyond restoring vision to patients with retinal injury. 
This technology may one day allow folks with healthy eyes to achieve the superhuman vision. It is not necessary to give up your eyes because it is not a substitute for the eyes or photoreceptor cells. By supplying more signals, the technology can simply augment human sight. Bionic eye implants have a bright future ahead of them. The Orion, a bionic eye device, is currently being developed and is expected to give useful artificial sight to those suffering from a variety of illnesses that result in severe visual impairment or blindness. The technology uses electrode put directly into the optical brain to produce sight without using the eye. The Genare's bionic eyesight system is meant to overcome optic nerve injury that inhibits impulses from the retina from reaching the brain's visual sensor, allowing it to treat a variety of disorders for which other innovations are ineffective. Using the insides of a smartphone to assist the brain in inserting microelectrodes is a difficult project that has been in the works for decades. The bionic eye, which relies on a brain implant to restore vision, has been in research for more than a decade. In 2015, the research team and a group of elite surgical professionals began preclinical work, which culminated in the successful demonstration of the UNSW Phoenix 99 biocompatible bionic eye system in a clinical experiment in Melbourne, Victoria. Four patients received Australia's first bionic eye. Three persons who had lost all of their eyesight were given the very first bionic eye experimental retinal implantation with 24 electrodes. This trial, which involved implanting his bionic vision system in three sheep, was one of the first long-term studies of an implanted cortical vision prosthesis anywhere in the world. And according to researchers, the bionic eye was well handled by brain tissue but had no negative health impacts. Patients implanted with Phoenix 99, the world's leading bionic eye innovation in Australia, showed that it was safe and dramatically improved functional eyesight and quality of life in clinical trials. The team that investigated patients admitted who had properly installed the device was led by Associate Professor Penny Allen. For 45 years, bionic innovation has been a significant component of the medical world. For patients who have lost their vision, neurotechnology has produced groundbreaking breakthroughs. For the past five years, Melbourne scientists have been working on a second-generation gadget to ensure that individuals with the device enjoy a better quality of life. The vital visual layer, the retina, is the component of the eye that is most critical for the comprehension of good images. Researchers are working on a variety of bionic eye implants as a result of these differences. But the two most feasible are retinal, eye-based implants and cortical, brain-based implants, the development of a higher understanding of the numerous ways in which the technology may be employed and developed to assist the people to convey the visual language of the brain is a potential for exploration and advancement in the field of bionic eyes. Will it be available to everyone? Will it be affordable? Will it fill a blind person's life with color? Having said that, as we near the finish of this video, we'd like to thank you all for sticking with us. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. Most importantly, if you want to be kept up to date on anything relating to space and the internet, you should subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, peace.